Hello and welcome to the Friday drink. I'm your host Tim. I'm Ruth. You know what? It's been a long week. Go to the fridge, get something cold, sit down and watch the Friday drink. Do it. I mean, we've got a fantastic show today. Let's hold up our first what, contestant. What? What have we got? First and only contest contestant. <laughs> first and only. First and only contestant. Only contestant. Is a uh, Rockstar Pale Ale. Yes. By Endeavour Brewing Company. Now, Ruth, yes. you have indeed done the research. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about it. In the Rock, Sydney, they're a brewing company, uh, came about in 2010. Uh, they're named after James Cook, Captain James Cook's ship, the Endeavour, uh, which sort of fits in with like the Rocks theme, which is all like, you know, colonial Australia, that sort of thing. Uh, yeah, so they have a line of different different types of craft beer. This is their pale ale. It's tropical. Uh, it's got a lot of tropical flavors. And tropical, fruity, oh, and vibrant. Oh, it, vibrant. It's kind of like uh, mm. many, many different craft breweries are doing that description at the yeah, time. Yeah, that's been a trend we've noticed, hasn't yeah. it? If, mm. Yeah, if you watch our Four Pines video, that's what they had at the top of their one as well. I mean, I, I find it helpful. I do like the kind of associations where mm. it's gone from The Rock Sydney to Rockstar, the name of the beer. Did you just work that out then? <laughs> the Friday drink is a high IQ show. I had not figured that out. So Rockstar, that's why we're uh, obviously dressed yeah, oh, oh, the yeah. way we are. We're very cool Rockstar. Tim's in leather, I'm yep. in Lana Del Rey. Nice. What do you think of this can design? Uh, look, I like it for what it is, but Again, kind of like with the Pirate Life Lager, it's not really what you think of when you think of Rockstar, is it? No, when I think of Rockstars, I don't think of a very gold E in a sort of a, a lime greeny background. Yeah. I think of like broken glass and black. Yeah. <laughs> but I think yeah. it fits in with the Endeavor style. I think it fits style. in with the Endeavor style, yeah. I just don't think it's... I mean, I guess they call it Rockstar because they're at the rocks, but I don't know. I might have found another name for it maybe yeah i think it's having an identity crisis yeah like rocks rockstar but then endeavor hmm. posh english explorers yeah. hmm. who Very knows posh. should we go posh. in for the pour <laughs> all right oh, we've got to show everyone oh yeah our new beer stones! Yeah, how good is this? Got yes. it from the $2 shop. I definitely feel like I could swing it to a shanty. Yeah, this is like in Skyrim, you know how the NPCs, anytime a bard starts playing a song, they magically have a have a cup and then they literally just do they're this. They're like robots. Yeah, they're, they're like, like robots. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> our hero, our hero, the dragonborn comes. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. <laughs> I love your singing, Ruth. Okay, back on topic. What do we think of the colour? <laughs> it looks like a pale ale. Smash a comment in the comments. Smash, Smash a, a comment in the comments <laughs> if we should do something not a pale ale. Okay, right, I'm thinking it's looking quite ambery, quite cloudy, but hey, that might just be more. the cloud. Cheers, cheers, cheers. <clears throat> oh, that was a hearty noise. We're gonna break these. Oh. Mm. Oh, what's that? What is, what is that? I think it's a beer, Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> No, you have to be more specific. What are we tasting um, here? No, literally, what are we tasting? Tropical, fruity, maybe pineapple. Mm. Are you thinking pineapple? Yeah. I think about this a lot. You're looking very confused, Ruth. I think this is um pretty strong as a pale goes. Really? You I was literally so? going to say the opposite. I was going to say it was quite watery. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh. We have another oh. classic <laughs> Friday drink controversy. It just tastes watery to me. Oh, this is not a good sign. I think it's just... I don't know whether it's watery or drinkable or what, but I, you know what? Each to his own. I don't think it has much flavor. Oh, burn. Sorry, I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I've really thrown you for a loop. Are we blind tasting this? I've forgotten. We've Have drunk, I had this before? We've drinking this one before. We've drunken it. We've drunken um, it before, but um, mm. it's been sitting in the fridge for a while. Yeah. Unopened. Rockstar. <laughs> while we're having we're this rockstars, watery drink. Kind of. Yeah, maybe it's just like, you know, Geek swill. Oh. Maybe that's it. See, I was thinking if you're going to call it Rockstar, it needs to be really punchy. But yeah, gig swill. I mean, that makes sense. Like a cheap, you know, you know, you don't care what you're drinking, you're here for the band. Brings me back to my question. What do you think music will be in the future? In the future. Okay, yeah. Future. I had um, I had an idea about this. So in 
uh, Brave New World, you yeah. know, Brave New World, that was written in the 20s mm -hmm. uh, about a dystopian society in so the future. So maybe 20s, 1920s, 2020s. Hey! Ooh. Woo! Um, <laughs> they didn't have an epidemic, though. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> We have that pause in way too long. <laughs> Sorry, back on topic. Seriousness. Um, so they went to concerts, right, and they had these machines called, like, scent organs where they'd be playing music, but they would also have an array of scents coming out of, like, different pipes and stuff. So oh, you'd, weird. Yeah, so it would go through the, like, piece of music and you'd have, like, whiffs of rosemary and tarragon and then at a different point in the music you'd have, like, like... I don't know, lemon and citrus. And so there were scents that went with the music. So it was like an olfactory and oral, ear is oral yeah, yeah, experience. A so it wasn't just Whoa. the sound. It was the smell as well of the music. That's kind of weird because I think of like, classic Australian bangers like working class men and I come from the it, land down under. I they think, smell what do you like get? beer. What do you get like the Outback Roo Poo and... Beer. And beer? Yeah, those, those songs smell like beer. <laughs> songs you can smell. A new Whoa, segment with Ruth and Tim. He's a working class. No, I changed the channel. <laughs> it doesn't smell too good for me. <laughs> Why is it, though, that all pubs smell the same? There is that, particularly old mate pubs, there is that old mate pub smell. Is it just all the spilt beer and dreams? Like What, what happened? <laughs> yeah, spilt beer and dreams. <laughs> Write that on your, own, <laughs> on your own pub, Ruth. I don't know, I think it's like you kind of spill a little bit of beer, but it doesn't get cleaned up and it kind of builds up over time. And you get and that. The person who does clean it is paid like minimum wage. Yeah. So you know what, they're just kind of thinking about their dreams mm. whilst they're working at the pub and yeah. eventually they all just smell like that. Must be. What, what do you think music's going to be like in the future? A crowd-based music? Like, we have, like, SoundCloud uh, where there's kind of this um, grassroots level. But I imagine, like, imagine if you had, like, a Discord server for your band and mm. it's made up of, like, 20 different people each kind of collaborating, collaborating, mm. collaborating into, like, one or two songs. And so huh. you've kind of got this music that's been generated by lots of people who have the technology to do that. I like that. I think that's great. Or there could be a radical new musical instrument. I mean... <laughs> That'd be cool too. <laughs> we don't know. All, All right. right. Should we get back to the beer? We should get back to the beer. Ruth uh, has already dissed this beer yeah. enough that it's Are we gonna, like... Yeah. Totally like we're going to get banned from the rocks. <laughs> Just the entire, the entire it, section of Sydney. <laughs> yeah, we can't go to Pancakes on the Rocks now, Ruth, because no, guess what? Right. dissed the brewing company. There's one in Darling Harbour. It's fine. Oh, it's good. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. So, Tim, I wouldn't recommend this to anyone. So... <laughs> oh... <laughs> I'm sorry, I just don't like it. Who? It's just my personal taste. I just think it's weak. Um, anyway, who would you recommend this to? Boom. Not Ruth, that's for <laughs> certain. Not anyone who... <laughs> I know, I'm being very savage Not anyone today. who has a grudge. <laughs> um, I would recommend it for someone who kind of likes notes of pineapple in their beer. Yep. Yeah. Because um, that's what I got from Is that it. what you get? Okay. And people who have a different idea on what a rock star could be. Ah, okay. So it's, you know, we think rock star, we like dress all in black and leather and we're like, oh, Here it should be are. punchy. Yeah. Whereas this is more of a subtle type of rock star. <laughs> or what Ruth is implying, not a good rock star. <laughs> a rock star with green and um, pineapple, pineapple hints. I mean, look. This could be a beer for someone. This might be someone's favourite beer. And if that's you, I'm very sorry, but that's you're wrong. All right. all right, Ruth. Let's go for it. <laughs> all right. Tinnies. How many are you going to give it? 1.5. Oh! <laughs> Well, you, you, I believe it because I've, it hasn't gone down. I, I mean, I've had a bit of it, but like, I don't know. You could pour it back into the can. You, you can have it. Remember like. how you were like whinging? It's like, oh, you got more than me at the start of the yeah. video. Um, I think I like, uh, did I just rate that less than the sour watermelon? I think you just yeah. did that. You say you're a rock star and... I think that maybe what it was. I was like, oh, this rock star, this is going to be awesome. And I'm just disappointed. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to give it as low as that. I would not say it's the strongest of pale ales. I would say I'm going to give it a three. That's the truth of it. <laughs> and I'm the Ruth of it. How many times are we going to make that joke? You could cut it if you want. No. All right. Are you ready? <laughs> no. No, I'm going to keep that in. <laughs> Close. If I was dehydrated, I could probably drink this because it's mostly water. Like, <laughs> I'd like to imagine Endeavor are just watching us like sharpening knives. Come on, Tim. Knives. No one's watching. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please tell me how wrong I was in the comments. Tell me how I'm wrong. That's right. It's a team effort. Yeah, it's a team effort. And we will see you next time. 
Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Woo! I think there's something in the, my jacket pocket and I don't know what it oh, is. It's, oh, it's in their sleeves. Yeah, this is going in the bin.